We're at a very large lake in New Zealand, whose name I can't pronounce, near the Milford Sound. And what I was hoping to do here this morning is demonstrate a typical camp stove, kind of a propane combination fuel stove that's uh, used throughout New Zealand. And obviously not endorsing any particular brand, but this is the style of stove that's very common, especially for car camping. And at the moment, <clears throat> These cans of fuel, again, not endorsing any particular brand. These are very common throughout all of New Zealand. Um, these cans come about three for $10 typically, or maybe three for $9 in a pack, very common. And what I'm gonna do now is just demonstrate how to insert the can and start the stove. And first I'm gonna start out by taking out the used canister uh, that has been depleted of fuel very simple procedure. The new canister has a plastic protective lid. And this mechanism here snugs it up tightly and ensures a proper seal. Close it and just for demonstration purposes show you a little bit about the insides of the stove. Very simple mechanism, very safe, easy to use, easy to clean. This particular uh, stove that I'm demonstrating here is a little bit worn, but you get the idea. And I'll show you the bottom as well. Of course, there's the face of it again, but there just isn't much to it. A very simple device, uh, certainly suitable for car camping. And as I demonstrated a moment ago, I had insert, inserted the canister and tighten down the seal and to start it there's a piezoelectric starter in it which is very common around the world and charcoal stoves and everything else and it works off of pressure and you probably can't see it but the flame has started the flame is adjustable the level of heat that is and you simply start cooking and that's it a very common stove uh, again used for what we would call car camping throughout New Zealand, a very common, popular uh, way to holiday or vacation in this country. And as I stated earlier, we're on the South Island of New Zealand, very large lake whose name I can't pronounce, uh, near the Milford Sound. Having a lot of fun, but also enjoying the way people camp differently around the world.